Hello, my name is Andrea with Mind Body Music Center, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to play the Tibetan singing bowls to start a home practice for self care, for meditation, and for healing. So, first, you want to make sure that you have a good quality bowl. If you're using these for therapeutic reasons, it's really important to get an instrument that sounds good and at its best. So these are my favorite bowls for Tibetan, or sometimes they're called Himalayan bowls, the metal bowls. So these are from I Singing Bowls. Um, they are a great manufacturer of these bowls. They're made in Nepal. Um, you can find that link, I'll put it below so you can check out what they have. Um, so you can find different bowls and different sites, but I really recommend that you listen to the bowl before you purchase it. Their website allows you to listen to the sound before you actually purchase the bowl. You don't want these sounds to create dissonant overtones. So if you listen to the sound, there are many overtones that are coming from this bowl, the fundamental frequency, and then the overtones over the fundamental are creating harmony. Some bowls create dissonant overtones, so you don't want to get a bowl like that. You want to make sure that the overtones are sounding harmonious. And that is actually the the special trait of these bowls is that you can hear the rich complexity of all of these overtones, a very beautiful sound, and not all of the Himalayan bowls that I have found create this rich of a sound. So these bowls can be expensive. A set of six or seven can cost up to $2,000. So you can just buy one or two bowls. This is totally possible and you still get the benefit if you buy one bowl and use at home. So I would recommend starting no smaller than this size, which is about 10 inches. So Starting nine and a half to 10 inches is good because you get a lower tone. You can feel the lower frequencies in your body immediately versus higher bowls and smaller bowls. You won't be able to feel that frequency as much and you'll get a little more benefit if you're just using one or two, you wanna have that lower frequency. And this one just a little bit bigger is um, about 12 to 14 inches would be good. I would recommend if you're getting two bowls to get these two sizes. It would be very good to start with. Um, and then you can build your set from there. Um, that way that when you're starting with only one or two, you're still getting benefits from the sounds. So if you're getting two bowls, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they are sounding good together. If you select your bowls and they don't harmonize or they don't sound good together, if they clash or they're dissonant, that is not going to bring as much therapeutic effect when you play them at home, especially if you only have two. So you wanna make sure your bowls are creating harmony if you have two. You're gonna start with a, harmon a harmonic interval. This would be a major, um, a perfect fifth, um, a perfect fourth, a third, or an octave. So these intervals are um, creating harmony. So it's a third, a fourth, a fifth, or the octave. So you also wanna make sure that you're using the right mallets for your bowls. If you have a bowl and you're using a wooden mallet like this, 
It's gonna create a harsh tone. It's not gonna sound pleasing. It's not gonna feel good to the nervous system. And if you're using this for therapeutic reasons, you don't wanna create sounds that make you cringe, right? So you need to use some good mallets. This one has suede. You're gonna want suede around it. This one is a soft mallet and it brings out the lower frequencies of your bowl. So the mallets create different tones. The hard mallet with the suede will bring out the higher overtones. Your lower mallet is going to bring out the lower frequencies. So mallets are extremely important um, because will determine what kind of tone you're creating with your instrument. So there are many benefits to playing the Tibetan and the Himalayan bowls. These bowls in particular, because they create a rich complex set of overtones, it really benefits the nervous system. It can help your brain to go into alpha and theta brainwave patterns. This means that it's relaxing for your body. It's relaxing for your nervous system. It helps you to get out of fight or flight. So when your brain goes into alpha and theta patterns, it also helps to quiet your mind. So you feel a little more still. Your thoughts sort of turn down. The volume is turned down on your thinking and thoughts. It is quieting the internal noise. So when you're playing and listening to these bowls, especially if you're using these at home, you're gonna hear more frequencies, you're gonna get the physical effect versus um, using a recording for these bowls, which is still beneficial, but when you have them and you play them near you, you can feel the physical vibration. You're also getting the whole frequency range, which sometimes gets cut off because of um, the speaker um, cannot translate all of the complex frequencies of these bowls. So it's great to have it in person. You're gonna get a lot of nervous system benefits. Also, this helps to reduce stress. There's a lot of studies that are out now showing that these kinds of bowls in particular, the Tibetan singing bowls, Himalayan bowls, can help to reduce levels of cortisol. We don't want a lot of cortisol in our body, right? That's a um, response to stress. Um, these listening to these also can help to increase heart rate variability. This is another great measurement that shows when you have higher rate variability, it shows that you're able to tolerate stressful situations more easily. So this is a great practice um, using these bowls. It's great for your nervous system. If you want to learn more about how to place these bowls around you when you're home and using these for self-care at home, you can find the extended version of this video on my Patreon page. I'll put a link below for the Patreon and you can hop over there. There's more videos on that page about singing bowls, how to use them for self-care, how to use them for healing, and also additional recordings that I have made with these bowls. So thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you over there.